the previous video, we learned how to set up a DNS server on our network to assign a specific MAC address to a specific IP address. This had the side effect of adding a little security to our network because if someone tried to get on our network and they didn't have a MAC address entry in our configuration file, they weren't going to get on. That's all well and good, but what happens when a friend comes over and you want him on the network? Well, you have to get his MAC address, you have to assign him an IP, put him in the config file, restart the server. It's a bit of a pain. To solve this, Carpy.net has released a mobile application that makes this super simple. This video will show you how to use this application to allow people onto your network. This video assumes that you have DNS masks set up and configured on your Raspberry Pi. If that's not the case, please go to Carpy.net to do that. You can follow the link in the description or you can follow the link up in the right hand corner of this video. Once that's done, let's begin. The first thing we need to do is install the SID web service. We'll get that from GitHub. I'll post the link in the description that you can go here. We're going to get the address of the SID Debian. We're going to log into our Raspberry Pi and install it. So SID is a web service written in Node. Um, the Debian package will go download Node for you, so you don't have to worry about that, but it may take a while. If you follow my guide to setting up DNS mask on your Raspberry Pi, then we're done. SID is pre-configured for that setup. If, however, you made some changes or you're on a different network or whatever, all you need to do is edit. the opt-sid-source.env file. We're pre-set up here, so we're not going to edit it. If you need to edit it, feel free to do so. Just make sure if you do edit it, you restart the service. The next step is to install the SID mobile app on your Android phone. So go to the Play Store and search for SID Mobile. Once you've found it, click Install. When the installation is finished, click Open. The first thing we need to do is point SID Mobile to our Raspberry Pi. So we'll click the gear icon. We'll put in the address of our Pi, 192.168.0.2, and click Save. So the mobile app will connect to SID and look for requests. We can see in this case there are none. So let me turn on my other phone and have it request an address. You can see the MAC address of my other phone pops up. So I'll select that, give it a name, my phone, click assign, and it's on the network. Let's check that out and see if that's really the case. We'll go back to our PC, ping my phone, and there it is. That's all there is to it, and that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.